David Copperfield goes to a new school. David Copperfield was a young boy who lived with his great aunt, Miss Betsy Trotwood, and Mr. Dick. Mr. Dick was a mentally challenged older man whom Aunt Betsy took in after he was ill treated by his family. They all lived in a cottage in a place called Dover, which was about 70 miles away from London. Miss Betsy sent David to a school named after its headmaster, Dr. Strong. He was a truly learned man who loved learning. He never beat his boys and always treated them kindly and justly. Dr. Strong's school was located in a place called Canterbury. On David's first day of school, Dr. Strong led David into the school room. Dr. Strong introduced David to the class. The head boy stepped forward and welcomed David in a friendly way and showed him his desk. In Canterbury, David rented a room with Miss Betsy's business manager, Mr. Wickfield. Mr. Wickfield had a lovely daughter named Agnes. David stayed with them while attending Dr. Strong's school. Mr. Wickfield and Agnes were happy to have David with them. Agnes helped David with his homework and Mr. Wickfield was always kind to him. David also visited his Aunt Betsy in Dover. She was pleased with the progress he made in his school. Every Wednesday, David had a half holiday. During these days, Mr. Dick came to visit David in Canterbury. All the boys loved Mr. Dick. On windy days, Mr. Dick and the boys went to a hill nearby where they all flew his kite. Mr. Dick was very clever with his hands. He could cut apples and potatoes into the strangest shapes. He was able to make boats and hats out of paper. The boys admired him for his skill and cleverness. Mr. Dick had great respect for Dr. Strong. He always took his hat off when Dr. Strong spoke to him. He did not put it on till the conversation was over. Little by little, the two became great friends. Dr. Strong read parts of the book he was writing aloud to Mr. Dick. Mr. Dick used to listen, his eyes shining with joy. However, he did not understand one word of it.